Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. I bet you're wondering. What are you? Typically speaking, horses don't really belong in the sky. Yet here's Tammy. Wait, 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 oh, fuck! <laughs> Fellas, I'm not gonna lie, I'm still recovering emotionally from the failure of Operation hey, yo, Stall Lift, and I needed a win badly. I needed a successful mission. So I went down to visit Brooke. You know, daily apple delivery offerings to our lord and savior, all that fun stuff, and Brooke spoke to me. He said, Come, sweet Lou, moon and star, you must bring Tammy to the sky. Some of your handsome and intelligent subscribers demand it. Yo ho 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 ho. It shall be done. You guys remember Tammy, right? She was in the last video. <laughs> Tammy and I get along famously. Fellas, it's time to embrace our inner horse girl and, and ride our noble steed into the sky. That's a weird sentence. All right, that's enough horsing around. It's time to commence Operation Sky Horse. My initial idea was to find a low-hanging sky island and use the stall lift design to rock it up there. If you're saying to yourself, stall what? What the hell is even that? Then you gotta check out my videos about airlifting a stall horse out of the depths. I was concerned that the sky would have a similar sort of barrier like the depths did, causing stuff to despawn. But I was also optimistic because unlike the depths, you can actually see the sky islands when you're on the surface of Hyrule. Don't give me hope. So who knows, maybe they're already loaded. But hey, I doubt it. I went to Outskirt Stable, picked up Tammy, and pondered for a moment. That island there doesn't look too high. So I constructed a stall lift and we were off to the races. I quickly and expertly ascended because folks, this ain't my first rodeo. And as fate would have it, right around an altitude of about 700, Tammy neighed her last, uh, uh, nay. <laughs> Oh, good. At least we weren't close or anything like that. My friends, all is not lost, and I am very used to disappointment. We're gonna need to make a quick stop at this elevator. We're gonna break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar and save it for later. This is the hot new building piece right now because apparently it weighs two apples. What? Cheers to whoever was able to figure that one out. People in the rest of the world be like, we use metric. People of culture be like, we use apple. Quick spoiler warning, I'm not talking about the story here, but I am gonna head to the area leading up to the Wind Temple, you've been warned. I took Tamantha to the base of this mountain range. Getting ready to make the treacherous climb to the Hebra, Hebra, I, I'm pretty sure it's Hebra, I don't really care that much. Uh, the peak, this oh. peak, the peak right here, This the peak of the mountain. Let me know what you think in the comments below, is it Hebra or Hebra? My plan is simple. The base of the Wind Temple is close enough to the peaks of the mountain that we might be able to find a weird no man's land. Sky islands that aren't technically in the sky. Not a great plan. But as I came to this little lodge here, I was met with a bit of an impasse. I was hoping to just ride Tammy up, but I guess we're flying from here. Fellas, I'm not gonna lie, this one part of the video was more difficult to me than fighting five marauders in Doom Eternal. I tried a bunch of different builds here. I also tried to incorporate the turbine from that one shrine. You may be wondering why I didn't just use my beloved rockets here. I was concerned that I didn't have enough to actually make it all the way to the top of the mountain. And yeah, I could have done some grinding to buy more. But I didn't. It was really difficult to control this one. The fans definitely weren't aligned because the thing kept leaning backwards. I thought I could let go of the control stick for one second just for it to level out. And uh, this happened. <laughs> definitely should have put a stabilizer on that one. Whoops. I put a stabilizer on the next one and things were going well. Maybe too well. That little hiccup, that little stop and start again was enough to kill Tammy. Excellent. But it's all the same because that one was really good at flying straight up, but not really anything else. So I decided to add a third turbine onto the back of the thing. Little did I know that this would create a very efficient mobile glue production factory. Yeah, okay, like you've never accidentally created a flying horse electrocution chamber. <laughs> All right. Strangely enough though, we did make it up with Tammy and Zack. I may have kept this one going a little bit too long. I tried to land right over here and I guess I did it a little bit too hard because, you know, Tammy died. And then this little fucker threw a rock at me. Ah! Insanity is doing the exact same fucking thing over and over again, oh, expecting shit. shit to change. That is crazy. 
I got really frustrated and decided to take Tammy for a ride to try and find another way up. And wouldn't you know it, there was another way up. <laughs> there was another way up. <laughs> Ah! Big shout out to the people who commented on my last video about holding ZL while ascending things on the horse. That was a game changer. We trekked our way up the mountain and came to this big gap. But it's all the same because we were about a third of the way up the mountain and I was perfectly content with launching here. I put together a stall lift and we started rocketing our way up. Seven million rockets later, we officially reached the sky. We were above the 700 threshold. 700 feet, 700 meters, 700 apples, who knows? But we were there. I'm just as shocked as you are, but my theory must be correct. We're close enough to the surface with those mountains that we're not technically entering the sky yet. Even though by all of our definitions, we are in the sky. Everything was going exceedingly smoothly until... Oh no! To my immense relief, Tammy held on to dear life and didn't succumb to fall damage. And what's even more clutch is the fact that the stall lift actually didn't get destroyed. We made it. We're off the ground. We're standing on a platform floating in the sky. While I was content here, I wanted to push it further. But first, an apple for your troubles, Tammy. I pondered my next move for a few. Maybe it was a little more than a few since a uh, blood moon happened. Funny side note though, it actually made the physics get all fucky. I checked these boxes off initially to give myself some more room and I guess the blood moon made them respawn. They started pushing me and the portable pot around. It was very odd. I was even floating at one point. After solving that mystery, I noticed a sky island over yonder. I packed up Tammy and started flying. But once we got too far away from the mountaintops, Tammy vanished again. I loaded an autosave this time with the intention of going up. But unfortunately, when you load the game, all your fun Zonai creations disappear. So my stall lift was gone. I had to go old school. Before I started using the greats old school. So like three weeks ago, old school. Tammy, don't do it. Tammy, no! Something was giving me the vibe that Tammy, in fact, did not want to go up anymore. As I was saying, we we're gonna use an old school stall lift and start ascending a little bit. Very cautiously though, because we know we're right on the cusp of Tammy despawning. I didn't exactly think about how we were gonna land this thing. Guess it wouldn't hurt if I just shot a rocket right towards this thing, right? That went surprisingly well. For the sake of science, I did one more flight. From the starting point, up beyond where we landed initially. Or accidentally, depending on how you look at it. He's a good man, and thorough. And in this particular region, Tammy D spawns right around 900 apples. This is it. This is the pinnacle of Tammy's career. Let's just get this out of the way. This might be the highest altitude a horse has been in Tears of the Kingdom, at least, you know, without doing any funky stuff like wrong warping or weird shit like that. And because wrong warping wasn't involved, I can actually still ride my horse. Albeit not very far, but I, you know, I can. We have truly answered the question of the day. Can we get much higher? Oh god, Chopper, why do they draw you like that? Honestly, we probably could get a little bit higher, but Tammy's about to despawn, so I'm not gonna push my luck here. Another thing I didn't think about, man, that's kind of a theme for this video, is how we're gonna get Tammy back down. I guess I'm gonna have to make another stall lift and- Tammy, no! 